Hi. If you remember, must have been a couple of weeks ago, I was uh, making or experimenting with a super high wind kite. This one. I think I wrote a couple of uh, posts about it uh, on my blog, the Arealis Kites. And based on uh, the site statistics, you were quite uh, interested in that kite. Uh, the page uh, did get a lot of uh, views and the video did quite good as well. But there was a couple of issues. Uh, the main thing was that the band going across, or not across, but along the leading edge was blown back so it became flat when the wind was uh, really high and uh, that would definitely reduce the kite's uh, lift less surface for lift that is so uh, I had an idea on how to remedy that uh, issue and we're gonna take a closer look at that right now so come on okay Here's the kite, and here is the band that goes along the leading edge. And uh, when the wind is blowing, this happens. And now there is no surface here, no lift area. And uh, I think that one of the reasons why this kite won't do the inverse hover is because of that. Well, that's one of the reasons so I had to remedy that so what to do okay I made a pocket about this long I'd say it's about 25 centimeters or something 10 inches inside the pocket there is a glass fiber rod I don't know if you can see it but inside it's inside here then I cut a short piece of string, attached it to this glass fiber rod and to this short leg of the bridle. And when I fly, this line goes tight and this line will also go pretty tight and prevent the edge from being blown backwards. It will stop. No line going to be blown like this but with the line I hope that it's going to stay in this position are you ready to check it out good let's go just one thing before we go flying the wind today is really crap it's coming in from the east and that's uh, not a good wind direction up here in my neck of the woods. Eastern winds means turbulence and uh, difficult flying conditions. And also, the wind is very much on the lower end of this kite's wind range. So, it's not going to be a very good test flight, but uh, we'll give it a go anyway. See how it goes. Come on.
then it started to rain. So that's why I'm doing the rest of the filming inside the car again. Well, what's my verdict? Well, I think I can sense an, an improvement. Uh, the kite is still not quite capable of holding that inverted hover. Uh, that might have something to do with the, the light winds uh, and the turbulence, uh, but it's getting there. Uh, so I won't uh, predict anything yet. I would like to uh, go for another test flight in uh, uh, higher winds, in more stable winds, and uh, I think it's uh, too early to, to draw any conclusions right now. I have to wait for that second that second test flight. But I think it's uh, moving in the right direction, so I'm quite happy. Hope you are too. Bye!